and welcome to another Cyberpunk 2077 video. This one is a video that's going to allow you, if you can't already, to explore the deep, dark, murky depths of Cyberpunk 2077. And to do that, you need an Oxy Booster. Now, you can pick these up from a dealer in Jig Jig Street, or if you've got the crafting blueprint, you can just make as many as you want. Now, I'm going to show you where you can get the blueprint first of all. Now, go to this exact location on the map, exactly where my icon was. Now, I'll just show it on the street view briefly, just so you can get a rough idea when you're here where to look, because it is tucked away. Uh, once you arrive, just get the little pink suitcase behind the vending machine and grab the crafting spec for the Oxy Booster. Once you've done that, you can make as many as you want. Now, these last for 30 minutes a pop or 45 minutes if you have the skill point that boosts the duration of consumables by 50%, which I do. Once you've popped these, you are free to explore the deep, darky, murky depths of Cyberpunk. Now, I wanted to go back and visit an area where I went diving with Judy because he was very limited in what you'd done in that quest and um, you could only stay underwater as long as you could in that point because you had a diving suit. So now I've come back with my Oxy Boosters and decided to have a good look around. It's pretty dark down here, even in the daytime, because this part of the map where I've come to explore is very dark. But there's so much water mass in this game. There is water everywhere you look around the map. There's probably so many hidden things and Easter eggs under the water it's crazy. And if the devs haven't put anything decent under the water, they are crazy. I mean, people knew how mad the GTA players were when they spent months, even years, scaling every depth of the ocean in that game, trying to find whatever they could find. Now, I'm hoping in 2020, in a game as big as this, they have actually given us some goodies and some Easter eggs to find in the ocean somewhere in this game. So, this is the opportunity for anyone who wants to go treasure hunting, maybe be the first person to find particular easter eggs or special goodies that may be underwater. Who knows what is out there in this game that's available. But, it is good. The fact that you can go underwater, not worry about your breathing, like 45 minutes a pop, and then even if you're underwater for that long, you can just simply open up your inventory and pop another one. And just keep searching. I mean, what a better way to treasure hunt, to be fair. Um, it's a shame that you didn't get the diving suit from Judy. I mean, maybe there is a way you can unlock the diving suit further in the game. I've kind of held back on the main story a lot, so I can do a lot of the side missions. Um, my level is pretty high because of that. Like, my street cred is level 50. Now, I've been level 50 on street cred for a long time time now as you can also see you may actually find yourself some crazy little glitches now one of the buildings had no door on and then it was just a world of pixelated mess inside i was tempted to go in but i didn't want to risk killing my character who knows what the uh consequences would have been of going inside but yeah if you want to go diving treasure hunting just exploring i suggest that you get yourself the oxy booster crafting spec it's always good to have in your itinerary, that's for sure. One thing I would advise when it comes to this deep um, diving, especially if you're going to go quite far out and quite deep down, is to make sure you put a marker point at least uh, to give you a sort of sense of direction. Because like I say, it can get pretty dark down there. Um, especially if you go diving at night. I mean, this is dark now and this is at 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, I'll skip the time before I went diving to put some sunlight outside. As you can see from the top of the ocean, there is a glimmer of sunlight. But when you're down there, it is dark. I mean, there may be a way to get a torch in the game. There may be a way, like I say, to unlock the diving kit. But right now, I don't have it. All I have at my disposal is infinite oxygen, so at least I can go exploring just in the dark. So yeah, make a marker point, uh, a sort of um, waypoint, where you start so you can always have some sense of direction when you get back now i hope you do go diving if you haven't already something you should definitely do in this game just to explore you may be the one that finds the coolest secret in the game or a puzzle or an easter egg or something that gets the whole community behind it and helping figure it out who knows 
but something's out there. It has to be. I mean, there's no sea life that I've seen so far, which I am a little bit disappointed in. I was kind of expecting, especially when I was swimming around by the ocean uh, yesterday, kind of hoping I'd come across something, whether it's something that may attack me or just some fish. I don't know. I know food is a little bit scarce in uh, the times that we're living in, but I expected something. I didn't expect a completely drained ocean. But either way, I would definitely recommend getting your Oxy Boosters, getting yourself a bunch crafted up, and get yourself diving. Very relaxing. Very relaxing indeed. Well, if you like this, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.